Hey everybody, if you're learning the deadlift, there are a couple things that I want to make sure you can do before I let the technique slide, right? So if I have a new client who's never done this exercise before in their life, I'm not going to expect it to look perfect or, you know, even that great, right? I want it to, but um, I'm not going to, you know, hold my client to those expectations. So I might make the exercise simpler. The simplest way is usually just a Romanian deadlift rather than a full deadlift where I bring the weight all the way down to the ground. That's going to be my first thought, but there are two major, I guess, let's say three major positions that I need you to be able to figure out. Um, if you can check these boxes, then you're welcome to continue deadlifting, but let's make sure you're getting them first. The first one is just general back position, right? For my setup, if I'm down here and I'm trying to pick the bar up and my back is really, really round like this, I'm not gonna let you deadlift. Okay, I, it's okay, I'm not gonna say anything as long as you do it a little bit, but if you're consistently finding that position, that's not an effective position, one, for deadlifting, and two, for keeping your back healthy for the long term, and three, even training your legs, right? So we gotta find a way to get out of that. So if you're really around, find a way to straighten it out, right? I've made a video about that. It's uh, don't arch, don't round at the bottom. I think it's don't round at the bottom. I'll put that in the description. Um, second major thing, I need to make sure that you're finishing your deadlift with your butt muscles and not with your low back muscles. So the low back gets tight because it starts to overwork, right? A good way to loosen it up if you're feeling that tightness is by turning on the glutes because they pull down on the low back. Okay, what this looks like, it's kind of weird uh, when you think about it, because especially if I've already taught the bottom position and you were around it and I'm like, hey, you gotta arch your back so it stays straight. Um, this seems kind of counterintuitive, but at the top, I basically want you to round your low back. Okay, that's the only way for me to kick on my glutes to finish my lockout. Um, so we've talked about the bottom position, you're too rounded, you gotta level out. At the top, you're too maybe arched and I need you to round out, right? I need you to feel the glute, okay? And that's number two. Number three, I'm gonna call an audible. I changed my mind. I think this is a better way to organize this. Uh, number three is I want you to uh, lift it the right way. So once you can do it well in the bottom, at least get in the right position in the bottom, and then once you can get in the right position at the top, you've gotta to put it all together. Okay, so that's, that's like the middle of the lift. I made a video about that as well, and about the top one. You should watch those. Um, the transition is basically, I need to make sure I'm not lifting with my back, with my arms. I need to make sure I am lifting with my legs. Okay, so if you feel your legs during your deadlift and not your low back primarily, then I'm feeling pretty good about your deadlift, right? You don't have to really, you know, take this fine tooth comb and sift, sift, sift through everything and make sure you find every single air. I don't need you to worry about all that. But what I do want is for you to initiate your deadlift with your hips, right? My hips here need to come forward. I need to bring the hips, as we say. I need to bring the hips. So once I'm no longer rounded, I find a good position. Then I start to pick the weight up and I bring my butt forward and my body magically stands up. And if I can maintain that, then I have this nice round position, nice glute contraction at the top of the lift. So those are the three main things. Get a good position in the bottom, get a good position in the top, and then make sure your transition in the middle is good.